Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for December 2nd, 2016. For your Friday, we're going to have partly cloudy skies across the region. It's going to be a little bit cooler than it was yesterday, at least uh, similar to what it was in the afternoon when it started getting cooler. It was a little warmer in the morning and milder in the morning until the front passed, and then we had uh, cooler temperatures, and that's going to be the case again today. Many locations staying in the 40s might get close to 50 down here by Philadelphia. Uh, but it will definitely feel cooler, just still not really cold yet, though. Cooler and cold are two different things. And seasonably cold for this time of year is actually going to be a couple degrees below what the actual air temperature will be today. So we are going to still be slightly above normal. And not really a really cold push like we expected this first week of December. We thought it wasn't going to be too cold yet. Once we get to the second week, we're going to, it's going to be a different story. We are still holding to that and still does see, we do see signs of uh, some pretty cold weather coming in uh, next week. Now, as we go forward in time here, uh, also might be a, a, a passing snow shower uh, very far northern areas here across maybe parts of northeastern Pennsylvania back to about State College of Williamsport. Just a stray flurry, not a big deal here with that. Uh, further north, you're going to get into some more concentrated snow showers and snow squalls off the lakes there. Uh, same deal here on on Saturday, I don't th although I think uh, in Pennsylvania we're pretty much uh, dry. It's going to be uh, held to the uh, northern areas, but we're going to be partly cloudy or uh, partly sunny to partly to mostly sunny on Saturday. And uh, same thing here on Sunday. Now, we're going to be watching a system to our west here. Again, we showed this in the last couple of videos. This is a look at... Uh, this is a look at Sunday evening, so you might have a, an increase in clouds later in the day, but you see the temperatures here, they're all the way down. These red line are thir is 32 or below. Uh, the blue line represents 35 or below. Okay, so definitely cold enough here. Got a little uh, system here that might provide a few rain and wet snow showers. Not a big deal coming in the overnight. As a matter of fact, it starts to fall apart as this moves eastward. You can see just a few, see the light blues here. Again, you might get some coatings here. I mean, right along I-78, I think, is going to be like a rain-snow mix because your temperatures aren't really conducive for sticking snow. I wouldn't be surprised if some areas do in the I-78 corridor, but this is going to be a very minor minor thing here, less than, less than an inch in total, uh, even in the areas that are very cold from start to finish. Uh, down here by Philadelphia, you might get a shower. Or other portions of Southeast PA, just a just a passing shower, not a not a big deal. That might last into very early, very early Monday morning. This is probably going to be pre-dawn uh, when this kicks out of here, and then we go back to uh, uh, mostly sunny skies here later in the day on Monday. So whatever morning nonsense clouds you got going on, maybe a leftover snow shower that all disappears, and you get to mostly sunny skies later in the day. Then we have this other system coming in here. This is going to be Tuesday, probably Tuesday afternoon. And if that's the case, uh, might be some uh, some some snow here at the onset as this system moves through. But this is going to be pri primarily a rainmaker. Also, we got actually a double barrel low situation here, one two, and uh, you might have some snow here in the interior of northeastern Pennsylvania, northwest New Jersey at the onset, according to the GFS. We'll have to keep an eye on this one as well. I really don't think it's going to be a big deal though, unless it starts trending colder, which is possible. I really don't think it's going to be a big deal. This all goes over to rain. Uh, just a chilly rain for everybody here uh, went Tuesday and Tuesday night, and then we get into uh, Wednesday. We start with just a leftover shower at this point, and that's it. Another system back here, uh, which is outside of our six-day forecast range, so we'll do, we won't get into this one yet. Another one lurking in the shadows here behind that. It'll come through uh, probably uh, later uh, Thursday night into Friday, which we put around the 8th or 9th time frame. Behind this system, though, uh, that's out of our, again, out of our forecast range this is next Thursday, Friday. Behind this system, you're going to get really cold, it looks like, next weekend. Okay, that's what we're looking at going forward. Might have a storm to deal with around the 12th, 13th or something, maybe. Maybe this uh, at the tail end of the system here on the 8th and 9th. Might have some wintry weather with that as well. So we're going to get into a little more active of a pattern again. All right, we're going to be dry through the weekend, it looks like. But once you get into next week, you're going to have those chances of rain or snow or both increase okay so let's get some systems coming in here we're going to continue to bring us an active pattern the active pattern is not going to be the issue which is how much cold air is involved and the timing of these systems and the track of the systems that will determine snow versus rain as we go forward i'm eastern pa weather authority meteorologist bobby march that is there look for december 2nd 2016 have a great friday